What's up, everybody? Straw Hats are cool here, back again with another video. Uh, thank you all for being patient with me, as I've been quite busy over the last couple weeks and haven't been able to put out as much content as I would have liked. So apologize for um, the delay in content, but we are back. OPO4 is officially out and legal for play at local game stores. So I hope you are all getting out and enjoying the new format um i've been having a lot of fun with it i feel like this one is a little more diverse at least for the time being though i'm sure there are some of you who are disappointed that we're still seeing a lot of decks continuing to see a lot of success like zoro and whitebeard and whatnot who law as well have been around for well since set two really dominating the format and continuing to do so now even in OPO4 but nonetheless I hope you are all getting out and enjoying the new cards and the new format so today we are going to be taking another look at the starter deck Yamato uh, decided to do another video on Yamato because it did get some kind of fun new support and I also had one of my friends who went to the Knoxville regionals uh, with me go seven and two with Yamato did bubble out of top cut like myself who also went seven and two uh, didn't quite make it into top cut but I think going seven and two with Yamato at a large regional event this one was about 650 players is a pretty big achievement especially considering it was his first event um, so this is not his exact list this is just kind of my take on the deck um, so we'll see how things go. Uh, before we really dive into the video, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has been subscribing and supporting the channel. Uh, we did pass 500 subscribers. I don't think that I mentioned that in the last video as it's been nearly two weeks since I uploaded that one. But uh, since then, we have exceeded 500 subscribers. So thank you all so much. Uh, I really appreciate the support and I did not expect to ever get this far, let alone in such a short amount of time. So thank you to everyone for supporting me. Uh, we are officially a YouTube partner. I don't actually make any ad revenue yet. I have to get to a thousand subscribers first to start doing that. Um, but I do think that you can like super like or super comment. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, if you want to support the channel even more, I don't actually know if you can. I think you can. Like I said, I didn't even really know that was a thing. Uh, but if you want to support the channel even more, you can try and do that. Uh, but really, the best thing you can do to support me is subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And just continue enjoying the content, commenting, all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's get into the deck profile real quick. So we are looking at the starter deck 9, Yamato leader, very simple effect, um, your generic 5,000 power 5 life leader. Dawn 1 on opponent's turn, you get plus 1,000 power, so you become 6k when you're at 2 or less life so long as Yamato has a Dawn. Doesn't seem very good, Very, it's very simple, but against decks like Zoro and Law, I have found that this is just a really powerful effect as they really like to generally go wide and swing a lot of small numbers at your face and this just makes it a lot easier and they have to commit more to um, using that kind of strategy. So uh, we got Sanji's a 2k, we all know what Sanji does, he's just here as a 2k, won't play him very often. Um, just got two operas as a vanilla. Good into decks like Whitebeard, especially if you can play it going second on your second turn. Got two copies of Cracker, just kind of here because it's a good card. Uh, I do think it's kind of fallen out of favor and in most decks will be completely replaced by the OPO4 Sanji blocker. But I'm still playing two copies just because it is a character with trigger and could catch people off guard. I believe my friend was running four copies. I have opted to cut it down to two so that I can run two Smoothie. Uh, smoothie is a card that hasn't really seen much play, uh, but she is another character with trigger uh, to play it from life by trashing a card. 
Uh, the only reason I am opting to run any number of this card is because it does have an effect when attacking that lets you add a card from your life to your hand. And against decks like Rebecca who try and starve you or Nami who try and starve you, this is a way to help maintain card advantage and get access to some of those cards you wouldn't otherwise get access to. Um, so that's the only reason I'm running it. This is a lot slower format and there are decks that are going to try and starve you out now. So I think that a couple copies of Smoothie might be okay, but I haven't really tested this deck much yet. So uh, just trying things out. Just got four copies of our Searcher for Big Mom Pirate stuff as we were still leaning hard into the Big Mom Pirates archetype. Three copies of Paro Sparrow, a card I've been seeing dropped from a lot of yellow decks as uh, with decks like Whitebeard still running rampant, it's not as good and you want to have as many cards as possible with counter in your deck. So despite how good this card is, it has been seeing a bit less play from what I'm seeing, but still choosing to run three copies. Struson is another 2k counter. Uh, this is honestly probably the best 2k counter in the deck because currently Strawbeard is the most dominant variant of the Whitebeard deck from what I'm seeing, and their blocker of choice is Chopper. So sometimes you can catch them off guard. They've only got one Chopper on board and you can play Struson to get rid of it for only one Dawn which is really powerful and can sometimes allow you to sneak in a win you wouldn't otherwise be able to get. Three copies of Shirahoshi, really just here, hopefully in our life from time to time, maybe I should up this to four, just kind of lets us fix our hand. Um, if we hard play it, we're in a real bad spot, so generally we don't want to do that, but sometimes we're not in a great spot and we have to play it from our hand, try and fix it. Um, three copies of Kata Curry, just good board control and sometimes can even heal us. If we're lucky enough to trigger a Shirahoshi, we can put that back in, which is a really powerful play as it lets us fix our hand again. Even something just like putting a pudding back in life can be really good. A new 2k counter from OPO4 is Capone Beige. This is going to be a staple four of in just about any yellow deck moving forward in my opinion. Just a 2k counter, 3 cost, 3k body, no effect on the field, but has a very powerful trigger effect, which can lock up one of your opponent's leaders or characters so that they are not able to attack during that turn. So very powerful effect, especially if you're able to lock up a big character, uh, prevent it from swinging for one turn. It's like a block. Uh, only real way to play around it is if you've got nothing on your board but rushers in hand. Just making sure you attack before you play your next rusher. Got four copies of the new Sanji that I mentioned before. Just another trigger character like Cracker, Paro Sparrow, and Smoothie. But this one is a blocker. So very good effect there. And because it's Sanji, it is still searchable by putting. Um, we've got Amande, another new 2k counter. Also a pretty good one. Got an effect where you can trash one card from your hand with trigger to rest to two cost or less. So can also kind of help you get around blockers like Struson, uh, but is a bit more expensive at the three cost. But you can use the effect multiple times and you don't have to rest her to use the effect or anything. So you can play her early and then have it as something your opponent needs to be aware of. Three copies of the vanilla Perosparo, just a big body, very similar. I mean, it's the same stat line as Thatch. Um, again, mostly just here to help give us a chance against Newgate. Uh, just a big body to help us swing into their leader towards the end of the game. Got three copies of Yamato. This is one of the new SRs from set four and works really well with what Yamato is trying to do. Has the on play effect. KO up to one opponent's character with light or a cost that is equal or less to than the total life you and your opponent. And then if you're at one or less life, you can heal one from the top of your deck. So because we want to be at two or less with Yamato, once we get down to one or zero, we can play Yamato to heal back up one and then still have one Dawn to put on our leader to pump us to 6k. So 
very strong effect um, just gives us a little more durability um, as you know if we are running 16 to get counters really just trying to maximize on our durability two copies of Randolph this is like I said in my first Yamato video um, the vanilla Yamato would get replaced by Randolph as it is just the same thing but searchable so that's what we're running now two copies of it and then we have Arrow Sparrows to kind of supplement the other ones uh, just kind of giving us an option for something to play on our um, odd curve is I do think the deck wants to be going second now a lot of the time so then we've still got three copies of Big Mom as just kind of another boss monster for us alongside the Yamato so we all know what Big Mom does so that's the deck like I said this was just kind of something I brewed up real quick um, kind of based on the deck my um, friend was running but I made some changes just to my personal liking but He's done a lot more testing with it than I have, so uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. So that's the deck list. Let's get into some games. Alrighty, we have a game here against Mono Yellow Big Mom. We are going to choose to go second so that they can't. This hand seems fine. So we're gonna keep. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play pudding. What? Four. Fifteen. We need something big, so we will take the Katakuri. And we will pass. Big Mom is not the most meta deck out there right now, but I wouldn't say it's too far behind Katakuri. It's still a strong yellow deck. Um, it can hold its own in the format. Probably say it's like a low A tier deck. Got a curry probably being in S tier right now. So we're just gonna play Sanji and pass. They did get to trigger their own Sanji out of life, which is annoying. Already got two attackers on the board. Just gonna counter that one with the Shirahoshi. Curious to see. So we get a trigger now. Definitely will trigger. I think here. I'll trash us and G. Question mark. That is fine. I want to keep the 2Ks, boss monsters, and I also want to be able to play that next turn. Alrighty, so we will just go ahead and swing Arrow Sparrow, try and get some pressure off of us. They are down to four cards in hand, so we might be able to get it. Do just let it go on the first attack. I'll be drawing a 10 cost Lin Lin. Still got a couple turns before they can play that. Let's go ahead and attack with Smoothie. We are not going to use the effect, however. And they are going to counter out of that one with the Zeus. So, yes, they are running. Maybe not the most meta build for Big Mom. They're running the homies, it seems. Hera. Okay. Doesn't work on the leader as far as my understanding goes, as it says character. Uh, could be annoying if they get there and drop out, however, so we do want to be mindful of that. This doesn't seem all that good, but hey. Maybe I'm about to get smoked. I'll let the smoothie go. I suppose we will trash one. Arrow Sparrow, which is a bit unfortunate. Would have been nice to trigger that 
our life. Um, hmm. I think. Let's swing five. Counter. On nine next turn. Swing this Sanji again. Go. And despite the fact that I won't be able to put Dawn on the leader, I am just gonna move that to the bottom, I think. The big body on board. got a lot right now. I didn't want them to be able to use this effect. Um, let's go ahead and protect it. We probably shouldn't be defending all these hits as now I've not really got anything to defend myself um, once I get to my 6k threshold. So probably making some misplays. So they are going to just play that uh, new 7 drop Kind of cool that that's a thing they can just put into their life at the end now. Don't think it's particularly good. Definitely a fun thing to do. Get another Linlin. -Lin. Just start by playing one of those. I'm gonna opt this heal. Which I think is a bit interesting. Let's go ahead and put two on leader and swing for seven. It will take. We can. This turn they're probably gonna 10 drop. I guess I shouldn't attack with the Sanji then. Swing 8. Counter. We can go 9. Now, even if they play 10 drop, we'll go back down to 2, which means they can't swing into us with their leader. So we are 6. And then, just get out of that one with a 2. Okay, which is good. Let's start. We can just win here. Seven. Zeus. Probably should have kept that for counter if I'm being totally honest with you. Let's go eight. They'll take. Arrow Sparrow again, they should have just kept that in hand. We'll swing eight, they take. I'll just put one Arrow Sparrow and that should be it. So that was a game against Big Mom. Um, don't think, like I said, not the most meta build out there, but hey, we got the dub. So let's try and get into another game. Alrighty. We have got a game now against Green, Purple, and Doflamingo. Very popular deck in the current format. Though, in my personal opinion, I do not think that Green, Purple, Dofi is one of the top meta contenders as of right now. I think it is a fine deck, but a bit lacking in comparison to the other top tier threats. And it just doesn't quite have the tools to deal with them appropriately. So we're going first. We do have a Paro Sparrow, which is a nice turn to play for us. So we'll go ahead and swing five and play the Paro Sparrow. They're on their fort on turn, so maybe we'll see Nami and a search come down, assuming they are running the film variant, which is the more competitive variant of the deck. Or Dawn, maybe you could also see an Uta. We do see the Nami come down. 
searching the top three and grabbing a 2K Tony Tony Chopper or passing back over to us. Get up loading and we have an opera. So I think what we'll do is we'll start by swinging five. Swing with our character first, just in case they try and do something on Gibson. Swing another five. Attack the Paro Sparrow next turn. That's five because that is just kind of a card advantage for me. I suppose maybe I could have started with a pudding surge just to see if maybe that would change my point of play. Probably won't change too much. So go ahead and play the pudding. Uh, we can grab Big Mom for next turn, which is good. And then we will just continue to go ahead and play that opera out. So it's going to be annoying if they get out something like their, their Uta, which would be able to rest opera. I'll be swinging five at the Paro Sparrow. And I think. Grab. I grab the Manticurry here as this is Wind Smoke and that's Fire Tank, so we can't grab either of those. Not like putting where we can grab the Sanji's as well. Five. Five on left. Could see maybe a Guild Tesoro come down. I'm just gonna take it. Another big mom. Rook alongside another Nami to get another search. Draw. Okay. Do we play? Let's go ahead and start six here. Might not be the turn to play the Lin Lin. We are getting to go wide pretty quick. Probably have to go down the two next turn. So might be best for us to establish another big body and put a dawn on later so that when we go down to two, we got that active. The next turn we can play big mom if we want. So we're just gonna play the Paro Sparrow. Building a board of big bodies want to swing into the opera that's fine as they'll have to commit an extra dawn to any of their characters to swing into it our hand is getting a little top end heavy now four dead cards probably will play either a big mom or a katakuri next turn depending on how things go we do have two Namis, which is going to be a lot of card draw for them. And then next turn, we are going to have to be wary of the potential of a 10 drop. No Flamingo coming down. Just going to go ahead and take this one. Set our leader effect active. A large hand. Probably need to commit more Dawn to each of their attacks mess up their plays they're wanting to do something like play a seven drop luffy they won't be able to do that anymore without forfeiting the rest of their attacks then that would give us an opportunity to start attacking into the board so it does look like you might not be aware of our leader effect they're going to be swinging five Already at six, so we are just going to let that go through as is. Yamato leader effect does catch a lot of people off guard because they just, you know, in good card game fashion, uh, can't read cards, and so they don't know what it does. So they do only have four dawn left now. They put another one leader to get an attack. That's going to put them 
found a three, which won't give them any super meaningful place. Mark no fourth with the attack with the leader. In my opinion, it definitely should have attacked with the Doflamingo instead of the Brook, as they're both 5Ks. And, uh, that doesn't. This isn't something that I can attack into with well, giving them the option to draw a card from life. So um, let's start with the Opera. Swing Opera into. Play a big mom this turn, probably. So that gives me two Dawn to play with. So I think I'll go ahead and go seven into one of the Namis, see what they do. Can't really rest anything meaningful as Crow Sparrow is at six. Gibson's locked at four and Uta's locked at five. So Crow Sparrow should be safe from any shenanigans. I'm gonna let all that Nami go. Go ahead and swing six. Maybe I should. No. Maybe I should have just swung six with this so I could swing nine. Of course, two cards. Probably a bit of a misplay there for me. They do have their two dawn for events. They are going to be restanding the Nami. Anyways. Uh, let's just go ahead and. Uh, They play 10 drop, they can't attack my leader, and all my characters are too beefy. So we should be fine there, unless they do. Give us a life, which they do not, they take their own. So just building a large board of big characters. If they play the 10 drop, that does get a little problematic. But we'll see what they end up doing. They are going to be. Putting one on the Nami. And six, which I think I'm just going to counter with the Shirahoshi. Oh, another. So, I see the power of the leader effect shining right now is with all these small bodies, they do have to start committing more each of their attacks. I am running out of counter. A lot of like I said, dead cards in the hand right now. Are going to be playing that seven drop Luffy. Getting all of those characters onto the board. For sure, put one Dawn on the leader. Let's start with a 6k swing at the Nami. Try and clear their board a bit. Maybe playing a Kata Curry this turn. Get rid of the Luffy again. They don't have anything that can naturally attack into me. Okay. Just putting the Luffy on the bottom. I don't really want to give him the option to lock with it so I think I am just gonna do that put it on the bottom and then swing six into the Nami honestly I kind of hope they try and protect it here unless they've got another spider web that would be annoying I'm gonna keep attacking into it get cards out of their hand Do just let it go, which is also fine. Go ahead and swing eight. No reason I'm not just attacking with everything right now. Play pudding. I'll just save it for counter. Nine, which forces two cards at least if they're going to use one of their events. Assuming they have one in hand, of course, so they are going to Bagua plus Brook. And I feel pretty safe right now. They play 10 drop. They're not putting any active pressure on me. And I've still got... So not even doing that. They are just going to be swinging. 
with rock. I'm gonna take this one for another 2k. I just want them to try and go for game here. Fine with me, honestly. We've not got a lot of dawn here. Guess maybe I should have countered. How much counter do I have in hand? Two, four, five, seven, nine, ten K. K encounter. So let's put one well no. So let's swing with the bra first into the bra. May end up are gonna protect the rook. Going to one here and swing nine into the brook. That way you're gonna almost have to let it go. Go one here, swing. They do get a Gibson trigger, which is pretty bad, honestly. This way, they can't just all in us. We're still at six. Got a big board. And ten drop, they're still not attacking into us. We're just swinging ten, which is fine. I think next turn, and then they're just gonna. We're not going to have any Dawn now because they've attached it all. So we can just go no blocks and then counter out. And then they are just going to concede. Only got the blockers, no Dawn for events. So wrap that one up. I think we really got to showcase just how powerful being 6k leader can be, especially when you flood with your board with 5k bodies. So really just kind of almost throws off your curve because you can't naturally attack into the leader. And unlike Newgate, we're not just losing life every turn, so we can defend it and keep it. And They never really get those opportunities to go all in. So definitely, I think that was a good showing of the Yamato deck there. Let's try and get one more game. Alrighty, we've got another green-purple Doflamingo matchup. We're going to go ahead and go second i feel like uh the flamingo much rather go second than first ushiro hoshi is not gonna be a keep oh i put keep anyways oopsies uh this could be a real bad game now don't really have any great plays now the sanji now next turn any point in playing the two drop just save that as counter definitely wanted to mulligan this hand but i mean at least we have a yamato so maybe it'll be okay 
Each hand will fix itself. We'll see. I'm gonna be playing the Nami, swinging so five, which I'll just take. But Randolph now as well to play, which isn't too bad. So we can swing five. And then we will play Sanji. Next turn, we can play Randolph and Pudding. So, I might want to try swinging harder into the Nami. We're going to be playing the Pudding, or that, not the Pudding, the Sugar, which is a bit annoying. And swinging into Sanji. will protect this time. I'm gonna swing seven, so I will have to let it go. Hmm. Sugar's gonna be annoying, so I think what we'll do is we'll start by playing the pudding have to use the effect when you play your first card, so they'll have to rest it. Not looking the best for us that you get the Luffy on curve. We're just going to be swinging into... Not going to be attacking with the Nami, which is interesting. I don't really have anything to play, which is not good at all. Got a lot of 2Ks. So this might be one of those turns where we just uh, play our Shirahoshi. Not the best pickings here. I think the sun is useful here. It's not the best situation to be in, for sure. Take that. I suppose we will attack with the Randolph here. Attack into that. It's easier to defend than our leader. So that's fine there. Next turn, we can play Yamato to KO something. Kind of lacking in my top end right now. Block and just do this one, it looks like. I need to start finding. Why would you use an event there? Could have just. I don't have anything else to attack with very easily. Could have just dropped a 1k or even a 2k counter save the spider web for later maybe their offense their uh, hand is just flooded with counters though a swinging five and take that one Trigger a smoothie oh, we will take what we can get Probably gonna. I feel like I'd want to get rid of the Nami for sure. Attacking our Randolph. I feel like I kind of need. I also feel like I can't afford to drop that much of my hand, so I am just gonna let it go. Turn two attackers, unless they finagle something. 
going to be playing the Chopper over Bruno Fiesta. Uh, yeah. So let's start five at the Looking great for us. We do have a bit of quite a bit of counter, but we're just they've got a really big board. And we've not really got anything. We're gonna be swinging into our smoothie, which I am just gonna let go. I'm gonna swing with their leader now. Brooke, they've gotta commit more dawn. Seven, which I will just counter out of with two. Eight. 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 A lot of blockers. Let's swing six into the Zoro. Probably just block with Luffy, but We'll see what they do. I should, uh, well, I guess if they block, I can go 10. And then, if they leave, if that only means they can, they can't counter with the Luffy if they block this. Use an event to get out of it. So, they are going to Gibson out of that one. I don't have Dawn. Let's go one here. Ten. You can just let it go and then we'll play Lin Lin. Trash. Still think we lose this one. They just we we didn't have any good plays. We had to hard play the Shirahoshi. Got a good amount of defense, but they are locking us up now. It does mean that uh, they're just choosing not to attack. It's probably the move. Do you have Yamato? Dude, honestly. Probably still not enough to save us, but does let us heal. Let's go. Another one though, that sucks. That's just kind of where we're at. So we'll go eight. Block. Give us the Union Armado. Interesting. Go ahead and play. Yamato will KO the chopper and heal, and then we'll still put the one on our leader so that we get that 1000 power buff. Got a handful of counters, two life. Are just gonna start with a 10, which I will take. Fortunately, didn't heal anything good into our life there. Sure. Great. 
Hey there. I will also counter then get greedy and put the rest on the oh, okay. So they won't be able to restand their very uh, Yamante now because all their dawns attached and they do just scoop it up there so uh i think they kind of threw that one a little bit i you just leave the blockers of like what do i do you know it's like I'm not clearing your board so maybe i mean maybe their hand was just super dead but who knows uh so another game there against the uh, green purple dofi uh you think they might have Probably not even might have. I do think they threw there at the end. Again, I don't know those last three cards in their hand, but I definitely think they could have easily survived another turn. They leave those blockers up. Basically, like I have to get one, two, three, four hits through. Only got four. So I don't know. But uh, GG's to my opponent. So I think that's where we're going to wrap things up for us today. Um, so that is... Yamato. I think we kind of got to show the strengths of the decks and even how the, some of the new cards like Yamato synergize with the deck. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I think this was a pretty good showcase of what the deck can do, even if the opponents did make some misplays here and there. We're all still learning and no one's perfect, so no fault on opponents for that. GG's to all the opponents. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're enjoying the content, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and liking the video. Um, that support is greatly appreciated. Like I said, the best thing you can do to support me and the channel's growth is just continuing to watch the content and being subscribed to the channel if you're not ready. I'm really going to be pushing for that 1,000 subscriber milestone now. Um, my goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers before the launch of set five in December. So it would mean a lot to me if we could hit that goal, but we'll see where things go. So again, thank you so much for watching. And with that, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.